Yo, what's going on? We're back for more second generation action, and this time I bring you an OU match against Destiny Bomb. And let's get to into it. And he leads off with Gligar, I lead off with Electabuzz. And since we are at the beginning of the match, I don't want to risk it, so I switch into Dragonite to take the Earthquake. And now the switch is obvious, so I proceed to Body Slam to hit anything that comes in for neutral damage. But he actually reveals his Tyranitar, which resists Body Slam, but he will get the Parahex. Which is nice, because now he's crippled. And I don't want to gamble with the Dynamic Punch that early, so I'm switching to Meganium. He uses Rock Slide and steals a decent amount of damage. Now I'm going for Leech Seed, but he makes a great move and predicting me. He goes for Venusaur, which does avoid Leech Seed. Now I'm going for Reflect as he sets up Storm Advance. And with Reflect, I can easily switch out to Alakazam, but he sets up another Storm Advance. Now being at plus 4, I thought he wouldn't switch out, and he had me, and I thought correctly, and Psychic deals a huge amount of damage. And Alakazam resists Body Slam pretty well with Reflect. Now he switches to Tyranitar to take the Psychic, and here I'm trying to recover to get the full Paralyze on him so I can switch out safely even with Pursuit. But he wouldn't get the, the full Paralyze as I continue to recover, but here he rock slides me and deals a huge amount of damage over health. Now I, I was kinda stuck and I thought, well, I guess I'm just going to die anyway, so I'm trying to switch up. Maybe he would go for another rock slide, but he didn't. He pursued me right away. So now I'm going to predict the switching to Venusaur again. And I'm going for Dragonite, and I predict it correctly, it comes Venusaur, and Dragonite comes in, and now I'm going to predict the possible switch to Tyranitar again, but I miss the dynamic punch and he stays in. So this time I'm not going to over predict, I'm going straight for the Ice Beam, and finish him off. Now he's going to bring in Gengar, and I'm thinking, well, I might as well switch into Electabuzz, because I think it's my best bet. Take his attacks, but he go and he goes for T-Bolt, which is nice. I like the buzz resisted. Now I'm thinking setting up light screen in order to take his special attacks, but he actually switches out to Tyranitar, which now allows it to go for cross job, deals a huge amount of damage, and he gets a full paralysis, which is good. But now he switches out to Gligar and to take the cross job. And he decides to stay in as it, I finish it off with the ice beam, ice punch, sorry. Now he brings his, ne his needle king in and I predict him to over predict so I went to ice beam, ice punch as he goes for ice beam, predicting my switch into Dragonite. I decide to stay in, get some more damage with ice punch as he finishes off Electabuzz with earthquake. Now I'm thinking, well, the best Pokemon to bring in against him would probably be Meganium because it can resist uh, easily resist a non-stab Ice Beam, but he actually reveals that he has a hidden powder poison. I wasn't expecting that, and with the critical hit, it almost takes down Meganium. That was a close call. I finish off Neoting with Earthquake as he sent in Gengar. Now I'm going to switch out. but I'm first checking which one would be the best bet. And I decided to... And I decided that, well, the best Pokemon would be Umbreon, because of its solid defenses. And he actually goes for Fire Punch, and Umbreon takes it like a boss. Now I'm going, trying to go for a Confuse Ray, but he hits the Dynamic Punch, and gets him a Fusion on me, but fortunately I resist the Confusion, and confuse him as well. Now I'm going to switch out again into my uh, Meganium 
as she also switches up into Tyranitar. Being here and at an advantage, I decided to go for his leg, but he also switches again into his Gengar as a setup burst leg. Now I'm going to predict him to overpredict and go for Leech C. He hits the dynamic punch, but once again I bypass confusion and go for Leech Seed, but I miss. Now I, I'm sure he, he won't overpredict again, so <coughs> I'm going to switch out into my Dragonite, I think. I'm kind of checking my team here. Yeah, I'm going for Dragonite now, as he goes for the Fire Punch. Now I'm going to get, try to get some damage on him with Ice Beam, but he switches out to Tyranitar, and he takes Ice Beam fairly well. Now I'm, I'm going to risk the Dynamic Punch, because if I hit, I can easily take out this Tyranitar, even and I can resist one rock fight, so I'm going for Dynamic Punch. I hit and he's down for the count. And now he reveals his, his, his last Pokemon. Well, not his last, but the one I didn't I didn't see it yet, and it's Golduck. And he goes for Ice Beam, almost taking me out. I go for the Body Slam, uh, and it does a decent amount, but I don't get the paralyzes. So he's able to finish me off with another Ice Beam. And I don't see Leftovers recovery here, so he probably has Miracle Berry. But I'm going now for Tentacruel, and the switch is obvious, so he set up a substitute on the switch. As he goes for his Gengar, he T bolts me pretty, uh, to break my sub as I go for Hydro Pump. And Hydro Pump does a good amount of damage. It's an easy 3 hit KO on him, and I'm thinking that Tentacruel with his good special defense can resist probably 2 t bolts. so I stay in and go for another Hydro Pump, and as you will see, Tentacruel will resist the, the next t bolt and allow me to finish off Gengar with another Hydro Pump. Now he sent in his last Pokemon, his Golduck, and I decide to stay in, proceed to Sludge Bomb him, as he goes for Hidden Power Grass, I think, which does a little amount of damage, it's not enough to, to take me out, so I go for another Sludge Bomb. I get the Poison, but uh, like I thought before, he has the Miracle Berry, so I get rid of the Poison, and finish off Tentacruel with Hidden Power. And now, I'm thinking, well... He probably has cross trap, so I'm going for Meganium and try to resist his Ice Beam. And, ladies and gentlemen, Meganium survived it like a hero and finished off Golduck with Ice Beam. With Giga Drain, sorry. Well, good game, uh, Destiny Bond. It was fun. It was a really close match. And, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, rate. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time with more second generation battles. Peace out.